Hey fellow Schneider drivers, Friendly Bill coming at ya. Uh, winter's upon us. Um, I uh, was in Los Angeles uh, less than a week ago. It was 80 degrees and now I'm in Cali Spell, Cali Spell, Montana and it is 19 degrees. Um, luckily I am prepared. The truck is prepared. I've got everything I need for winter. Um, I've been through three winters. You know, I've only been driving for three years, so I'm not an expert. I'm not a coach. I'm not a recruiter. I'm just a driver, just like you. So I've been through three winters, and I learn a little more every winter. Um, bo most important, uh, be prepared, because you never know what's going to happen. Uh, have food. Have water. Uh, have warm clothes, have your chains and all the in your uh, straps and and uh, I actually have uh, uh, I got some kitty litter this year because uh, there has been a couple times that I've been stuck on just like a foot or two of ice so I got some kitty litter I got a uh, a folding shovel this year a little shovel um, nothing big I didn't want anything big because I didn't I already have a broom on the catwalk uh, uh, in there. So I didn't, I didn't want a big shovel for inside the truck. So I got a little shovel. I hope, I hope I don't regret getting a little one. But anyway, um, I was looking at this uh, Schneider Winter Survival Guide, and uh, you know, I've been through three winters, but you know, this still this got a lot of good information in it. Um, one thing uh, I was looking at was the uh, the tire chain how to chain up uh, your tires for Montana and it is different than uh, than some of the other states uh, you uh, uh, put chains on the primary axle and not you don't have to put them on the trailer uh, so that's a little bit unusual um, I'm not sure if I will do that I may still put uh, chains on the trailer you know more more doesn't hurt um, you know, I don't know if I'll get in trouble for that, but anyway, uh, I, I err on the side of safety. So, um, it does have the uh, tire chain placement per state, which is very helpful. It has a little review on how to chain up. Uh, it also has, um, you know, driving techniques and all that stuff. Um, it's got a lot of good information in here, actually. And, you know, if it's your first winner, your second winner, your third winner, um, well, I suggest uh, looking through this thing. I mean, you know, like I said, I'm not a coach. Uh, I'm just a driver. Uh, but, you know, this thing has a lot of good information in it. And, um, like I said, it's 19 degrees here. Uh, it's about 9 o'clock. So it may get colder. Now, you're not supposed to shut the truck off uh, if it gets uh, below 10. Because it's a diesel engine and um, sometimes it won't start. So uh, I'm kind of on the fence if I should let it run tonight or not. I don't know if it's going to get... I guess I could look at the uh, weather forecast. Oh, it's starting up on its own. I've got the, uh, uh, the system up so it'll work, uh, start on its own and whatnot. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, winter survival guide. You know, um, I'm done for the day. My load doesn't deliver until tomorrow. So I've got nothing else to do really. I'm going to go in the truck stop, get some milk, and have some cereal and whatnot. But I was just kind of looking at this uh, Winter Survival Guide. Uh, it's pretty helpful. Now, uh, when I was hired, um, there were guys uh, in class with me that were from the Middle East and uh, a couple guys from Brazil and Africa and all this. And uh, they had never seen snow. They had never seen snow. Um, never seen it and uh, they were given keys to a truck and uh, they are gonna be driving in the snow and to me you know okay first time you're seeing snow is gonna be behind the wheel of an 18 wheeler 40 tons going 55 miles an hour okay uh, not my not my issue um, yeah I don't know if that's a great idea but uh, you know um, I just pray that they don't aren't coming my way but uh, yeah uh, first time seeing snow and they're gonna be in an 18-wheeler so um, yeah 
uh, Winter Survival Guide. Check it out. Anyway, friendly Bill. Hope you have a good night. Catch you on the flip side.